Hi, everyone. My name is Ricky. My name is Dante. And welcome to the TBN podcast, which is a podcast we have yet to be named. We'll name it eventually. Maybe. Yeah, eventually. Hopefully. So today we're going to be talking about the pandemic and how we have been getting through it. Um, it's been almost a year now. So, or no, it's been more than a year, right? More you, than a year. Were, yeah. yeah. I think this last week would have been marked the one year anniversary, which my company decided to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> how did they celebrate ricky <laughs> uh they gave everyone gift cards and we just had like a big lunch which was nice but uh, it's kind of i think it was a more of a celebration that we all got through it so it was a nice gesture <laughs> no that is a very nice gesture like because like even with my mm -hmm. company too we're trying to celebrate it i guess a little bit too i haven't really participated but yeah it's a weird it's a weird time definitely and it's just like i don't i don't know i can't believe it's been a year because everybody was like oh it's gonna be two months but you know that's what's happening. yeah yeah for sure it's well, a whole year has gone by and i honestly completely forgot most of the stuff that we did or i did during the whole year uh so thought this would be a great way to reminisce and kind of see how we're dealing with this pandemic yeah um, cope coping how yeah. it feels how we think it's going, stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, what are some things you've been doing to cope? Me, I, I've been playing video games, <laughs> a lot of video games. I think we've both been playing video games. That's what yeah, I've been doing. Yeah, sure. I went back because I was lucky enough to get a PS Five. So I've been enjoying that. Yeah, I was that. about to say that you were one of the lucky ones to get a PS Five on launch too. No, on basically on launch. So like it like a little bit after launch, like uh, maybe a few weeks after, because it was definitely November. Um, so like we were able to get one, um, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's been nice. That's one of the ways I've been coping, but what about you? What are some of the ways you've been coping as well? Uh, like you said, I've been playing games too. Uh, I don't, I'm not a console gamer, so I've been playing a lot of PC stuff. Um, and Valorant came out sometime last year at the beginning of the pandemic. So, yeah. but I only recently got into that, um, at the start of the pandemic, I actually played Maple Story. Uh, what? quite extensively yeah <laughs> my friend and i yeah my friend and i we just i think at the pandemic we just had so much time and maple stories um you don't need too much mm -hmm. uh focus on it you can leave it on um and you basically just do nothing so we we tried to play together but it's they changed the game so much that you're pretty pretty much playing by yourself the, the entire time um but for like six months, I think I stopped in August. So March to August is about five, six months, I guess. Mm -hmm. We just spent a good chunk of time playing that. And then afterwards, didn't really do much other gaming. Um, and then in the, at the beginning of 2021, we started playing Valorant more um, intensely. <laughs> so yeah. uh, we're playing oh, okay. that more often. But I, I also started playing Red Dead Redemption 2 because we talked oh, about it did. last week. Yeah, you did start so I'm trying to get into it. Yeah. How are you liking it? How far did you get? How are you liking it? How's it going? Tell me everything. Tell me now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that far. I yeah. so I did play it up to uh the first camp. I think it's called Hearthstone or something like that. I think uh, it is. It's like, something like Yeah, because like I that was actually one of the games which was helping me cope because I've gone back to quite a few games like to replay them and Red Dead Redemption 2 was one of the ones that I went back to because the first time I played it, like I had it on the Xbox One, and then I got I bought it again on the well PS5 now, but for PS4, and I was replaying it because my first playthrough was like the good one. I always like to do that when games give you like the choice. Oh, there's different there's different endings. Yeah, yeah. So like oh. it changes, like your choices change. Oh. Without saying too much, your choices can change the way that it goes. Um, but like, yeah, so like I did a good karma playthrough the first time. So like trying to be nice. And then the next one, I just went crazy, you know, killing people. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I, I tried to be good and honorable. Yes. Um, I saved the guy from falling off the cliff. Uh, oh, but then okay. these guys at the bar tried to start a fight, not in the bar, like outside yeah. the bar. I was trying to get to some question mark on the map. Right. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I got to go get through these guys. And these guys are like, get out of here and everything. 
they started a fight and I was losing. So my resort was, yo, I'm going to shoot these guys. <laughs> so I killed three people and I'm like, oh, wait, I'm going to get, I'm wanted now. So I started running. <laughs> no, um, that's the thing. No, and the cops in that game, they're relentless. They're like, they're, they're, they're a lot tougher that like, until you get like further in the game when you have better guns. But at first you don't really, you can't really get away with them. You can kill them like a lot too, but like, Definitely, it was hard, like, the first playthrough where you couldn't just kill people willy-nilly. It was just like, I have to be nice, even though you're being rude to me in the game, which usually I would just end you in the game. But then this time with my bad, bad, my bad playthrough, I was, like, killing people, like, left and right. It was great. It was great. It was nice. Yeah, I didn't know there were different endings, but, yeah, these guys were thrashing me so i made a <laughs> created a little bit of distance pulled out my gun killed three people and then all of a sudden i was wanted and i ran for my life exactly. i don't think and i've been trying to avoid that area but then today so in terms of how far i got i mm -hmm. just finished uh so lenny and i went drinking so i'm still arthur oh, and Morgan. Okay. i don't okay i don't know so if that's we're still like just, chapter two right yeah it's very early on um and then lenny got arrested or something Okay. And I just woke up. So then, uh, yeah. And then I had to jump onto this call. So I didn't get to play too far, but it's, it was tough in the beginning when you're in yeah. the mountains uh, yeah. trying to get away because the snow is slowing you down. It felt like the mechanics were slowing you down. But once you actually get into the, like the free roam, um, it's, it's a lot more enjoyable because everything's just a little bit more fast paced yeah um when i was running away from the cops so i did run into i'm guessing a serial killer because there was a half a body hanging under the bridge um and it says there's writing on the wall that says look at my work and yeah. I'm, I'm like hmm that is a little bit creepy i ran into it at night too so i was like what the hell <laughs> <laughs> oh there's some there's other things i want to tell you that you might run into but i don't want to say but like that serial killer, I think both place through both playthroughs, I only ran into two things. So I think I ran into the, the where there it's like under the train tracks, right? Yeah, and, and he's like hanging with his arms and whatnot, and and you have to like, pull the paper from like the his the person's heads like on the wall, and you have to pull the paper out of his eye socket. I think that's what it is. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't even interact. I walked up, looked up, and I was like, "What is that? What is that? You left?" First, <laughs> yeah, I was like. I didn't I thought it was an animal at first. Yeah. And then I got closer. I'm like, what the hell? What, what is that? Yeah. And I tried to inspect it, but I'm like, okay, I'm not trying to die. First of all, the police are my ass, so I gotta go. <laughs> oh no, yeah, yeah, that's a terrible time to run up on that because then you're being chased and you're trying to get away. Yeah, like, I had a horse and I just just dashed. So Yeah. Yeah. That's that that's been fun. I'm probably gonna try to finish that game sometime this month or next month. It seems that like might it's a very be a long next game. month thing because it's it's like it's like over a hundred hours I think like okay. and if you're trying to do everything so like all the side missions and stuff it's definitely like a hundred hours or so like the second uh, playthrough went faster for me because I know like what the beats are and what everything to do like even still with doing the side missions and stuff and maybe I didn't do everything actually no because I my first playthrough I finished at eight eighty five percent and then this one I think I finished at eighty four so I, I basically did. The same amount of things okay but yeah. like yeah that's okay yeah. well see i have a problem with games uh with this many side quests i usually okay. get so distracted that yeah I get bored and then i stop playing it but i'll try to so, I'll, I'll try to keep playing it that's like a boredom thing for you though like it's not like a because like for me if the game is like but it, I, it's depending on the game too because i like the open world sandbox games sandbox games oh no like Red Dead i and... like it too but i feel like if there's too much to do, I yeah. I get way too invested in the side quests, and I completely completely forget about the main quest. Oh, um, okay. then I just kind of get bored, and something else comes in, like another game, um, right? That catches my eye, and then I want to play that. And then, so one of the games that I had problems finishing was The Witcher Three, which I I have, still haven't finished. Mm -hmm. um, and that game is you need to have your mechanics down, so um because if you if you don't and you're fighting um random monsters you're gonna die there's just no way to avoid it yeah uh, so that game i think i've restarted a few times just because it was way too hard where i picked up from right to jump uh, back in and yeah, try to play again yeah because i couldn't i don't remember how to play so i'm like trying to dodge and everything and do every all the right mechanics but yeah it's a game that's hard to come back to 
mm-hmm. after a while and then there's just so many side quests uh, even though the game is amazing it's just it's just hard to get back into um so yeah. we'll see I'll, I'll try to keep my i'll try to be dedicated to the red dead because i know <laughs> there's a lot that can happen and there's a lot of there's a lot of good praise for the game um, there is yeah and i think it it either won because it was the same year as god of war like the the ps4 god of war so either that one or red dead one game of the year i can't remember which one that year because it was 2018 but it's right. it's definitely great uh definitely a great game so like video games yes that's one of the ways that we've been coping but has there been any other ways like uh for example for me like walking Latifa, it was something that i my dog Latifa. it's something that i always did but i find like that's something nice because now with working from home we're constantly locked in and so that was one of the other ways where i could get outside and like breathe fresh air and everything and get some sunlight except for like during the winter time but like what about you or the other things for like coping so so like you i i walk my dog every day every uh every day during the summer at mm-hmm. lunchtime, which I think was one of the good things that came out of working from home and just had more yeah. time to spend with my dog. Yeah. Um, and whenever I'm working, I had a second chair. So my dog would literally, literally sleep right next to me. Oh, um, okay. and I would know like if she's not feeling well or, um, if she was acting up, mm-hmm. uh, she would always just be right beside me. So it was good company, especially when I was in the house by myself. Um, actually that wasn't that too much because my parents were home the entire time right which was another great thing because then they they first of all they needed a break Mm -hmm. um so they were getting paid to stay at home um from the cerb from the government so they were getting a break they were relaxed and it kind of felt like they retired early they were getting money from the government and just uh, you know taking a rest which was really nice to have um but walking the dog was was great first of all it drained a lot of their energy so it 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 didn't require me to constantly keep an eye on her yeah um but it also was a way to get out get some fresh air um another thing i did try to do was some of the challenges um and cooking because you know tiktok was a huge thing it still is a huge thing crazy huge um and all the trends that came from it were (laughs) None of the dancing trends were really my style. Um, They're not my I'm style a, either. <laughs> I am a man of very few rhythm. Okay. <laughs> very few <laughs> rhythm? <laughs> Just <Yes>. rhythm. <laughs> All, anything rhythm. You told me to make a beat, I'm going to be off beat as oh. bad as much as possible. <laughs> I'm laughing like I can make a beat. I can't beatbox to save my life. I can't do anything like that. I, it, I, I would have rhythm because I say I could dance, but I don't dance like the tiktok oh, i feel like you can if you heard, if someone played a song for you you could dance to it yes. and kind of work with the music yes. it will take me i think three listens to the song and then i might get, be able to get something what? to go down I remember only when you... i am uh, only when i'm intoxicated oh okay maybe that's what i remember confidence <laughs> to go and do it <laughs> but i still i still remember like you being able to dance a bit like one quick aside, like I remember one time you came to my house and music was playing and you started to dance just a little, you were joking, but you danced a little bit. I was like, Ricky could probably dance. He just has to no. like be comfortable. I think you were comfortable because it was just me, me seeing you dance. So I think you were comfortable. If you were comfortable, you'd be fine. Maybe, but I feel like if, I, even when I'm at home, I, I think that's kind of what, one of my things. It's, I like to dance off beat, first of all, to mess with <laughs> other people. Um, so and it just looks funny so like yes i'm dancing bad but (laughs) at least it's an enjoyable experience for other people and i really don't care a lot of the times but um if you ask me oh you have to dance to save dance to save your life um well i guess that's it that's the end of me you know (laughs) i'm not entering any (laughs) i'm not entering any dance competitions anytime soon (laughs) That's it. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna da- enter any dance competitions either because I would if they told me to dance to save my life. I'm like I'm gonna two step to save my life, oh. and if that hopefully that counts because I would just two step, you know, maybe just start doing head moves, you know, you know, like that. I like, can that's do the, it. I can do the <laughs> fat Joe lean back, you know. That's about it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> They're like Ricky, dance to save your life. You're like play lean back. I got it. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> good, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, with something as choreographed as the the TikTok dances, yeah. Um, maybe I can pick up on that just because it's it's all like I said, choreographed. Everything is there's a there's a logic to it, right? So yes. you got to do this move, then this move, then this move. I can do that. Um, like so, if there's any like the Soldier Boy dances and stuff like that, I can do those because I'm just yeah. I just have to make. Uh, imitate what someone else is doing um but some of these tiktok dances they're they're so creative because they make they put their own spin to it and that's really how you get popular right that is just true. like how how do you think of this stuff i that's the other thing too because like so people will start the challenges for a song but like that's a good thing for like the artists of the song too because i think tiktok is now affecting people streaming like music wise and everything as, as well too but they're like making up like this is the dance for this song and I've created it. And I was just like, that's crazy. Like to be able to be like, I've made up this whole dance and this is the dance for the song and everybody's going to do it. And then yes, you could have your own spin, but like me, cause now I feel every time I talk about TikTok, I feel like an older, an older man. Cause I'm like, I don't fully, I don't fully get it. Cause like there was a point where all the TikToks that I noticed, cause I don't have the app. I just see it like when it goes through like Twitter or Instagram, Yeah. but like they would have a move like that. And I was just like, why does everybody have to do that move? There were certain moves. I was just like, I don't like these moves. And I also feel yeah. too like some of them, like there's like the TikTok, the TikTok dancers, and then like <laughs> I swear I can speak. The TikTok dancers and then like the choreographed dancer dancers that like do stuff on mm -hmm. like YouTube and Instagram, like that st stuff too, which I could never do. I can never do that stuff. But oh yeah. no, I I like those I cannot do. Uh I'm just not a dancer. That's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's you know what? When this whole thing is over, we'll go dancing. <laughs> yeah, let's. We'll we'll go to dance class and then we'll, the we'll class, show yeah. you our, our our progression. You know. Yes. We'll, <laughs> that's it. That's it. Don't hold us to that. But maybe <laughs> we'll take up hip hop dancing classes and then do a video of us doing the hip hop dance routine. That'd be joke. Yeah. That'd, That'd be, be fun. Amazing. That would Wait, be fun. Uh, back to TikTok. It's. At the beginning of the pandemic, it mm -hmm. felt really bad. Um, like some of the comedy and some of the videos were just, they were just people who had extra time now, right? From the yeah. pandemic. So they were just trying to make whatever they could. Yeah. Um, but I've been on TikTok recently and some of the productions are so much better. Um, some of the dancing is just really nice. And yeah, uh, just the way the camera works and all that. Well, yeah, because they're, they're, they're so innovative with it, too. Because, like, I think yeah. there was literally a video that kind of just went viral recently of this girl showing how she did it. And she had, like, hats and glasses. And she was just showing how she went through it. And she did it in, like, one... T so she was making a TikTok of her making a TikTok. But, yeah. they, like, all in, like, 60 seconds. I'm like, I can't... These kids are, are different. And it's just, like, you're literally... Cause like, it's not always like the dances too. Like sometimes mm. they'll shoot like this whole scenario or this scene or something like that. And they're shooting movies and TV show she scenes from their comfort of their home own home. And like with a cell phone, it's insane. Like I could yeah. never do that as a kid. <laughs> with my, well, we did have folds like we have now, like when we were kids, but yeah, that's. But just the creativity of it. Yeah. It's, yeah. We would not have been able to do that. Maybe yeah. some of our friends, but I don't think either of us would be able to pull something off like that. No, I would need time. Like we would need time. We would have to figure. If you yeah. show me, then I'll I'll figure it out. But like I I couldn't just figure that out myself. Like the closest thing I think I had, um, I think this yeah because my 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 last birthday was a pandemic birthday, um, and I think I think my next one's gonna be one too. I think everyone's last birthday was a pandemic birthday. Well, no, because like um my mom's birthday's in March, so like uh, March seventh. So she, she but her, her last birthday, pandemic birth last birthday would have been. A few yes, so ago. she has one. She's <laughs> had one, but I meant, I meant like, like she, her first like birthday of twenty twenty. What? Right. Her birthday in twenty twenty was before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, her first. My mom just had her first birthday in twenty twenty. No, her first, <laughs> her birthday in twenty twenty was literally right before, because that's how I kind of remember when this started. Right. Too. Like, because I think it was March fifteenth is the day. Yeah, they remember. announced it. Yeah. Yeah, the day they announced that we're all or the world was closing basically even though not everybody in the world closed but yeah something like that yeah. the world uh yeah with tiktok there was also like the food uh recipes and all that stuff mm -hmm. so i 
really got into that. That's where TikTok kind of showed me a, like a different side. So we started, okay. my girlfriend and I would just make like random stuff. Uh, there mm -hmm. was the one coffee trend. Um, and I was not a huge coffee drinker before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, but after that, after it's just like every day, the first thing I do is make a coffee. Um, but with this trend, it was you, you whip the coffee and sugar so that it's like a foam. Okay. And then you put it on top of the milk and you mix it. And it's kind of like a milk coffee. I don't know. It tasted horrible. <laughs> so <laughs> never did it again. But it was also, if you don't have the mixer, you have to, it's a lot of wrist workout. Yeah. Um, just literally just whisking so it. So like to, look at the flick of the wrist. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> but do that for like 20 minutes because Ooh. yeah, you want it to be fluffy. So yeah full speed 20 minutes and your arm is burning at the end of it uh don't recommend it not a great tasting thing that's why i guess it's no longer here yeah uh, but well, yeah like, i think the, oh i'm sorry you go yeah i think that's that's really i can't remember any other tiktok trends that we really tried um but yeah, yeah. What, what were you gonna say i was just like no the that's the interesting thing about tiktok too like the educational part of it because there's so many avenues and I think that's the thing why I haven't downloaded it because it's just a whole nother social media thing. But like, there's also like the whole educational part of it where people are like learning things. So like, like what you're doing with cooking and everything too, and learning the different recipes, because like, that's something I want to take up, but I haven't taken up is like learning to cook. And then, but also too, like when you were mentioning coffee, it's just like, I realized I've never had coffee in my life. Like never. Well, you're not ever. a coffee drinker. Do you no. drink any caffeine? No caffeine. Well, I iced mean, tea like, has caffeine in it, right? Oh yeah, you're a nice huge iced tea. Yes, I yeah. only drink. I exclusively drink iced tea. Let's tell the That's story awesome. of why I don't drink pop. Because <laughs> <laughs> so back in grade one, we had scientists in the school, and this lady she had us sit in like rows, and she had us put our arms on. Each, so like we were sitting cross-legged, and our arms were in front of the other person, and then she started walking through people and said, this is what pop does to your molecules. And it breaks it up. So from there on, little Dante said, hey, I'm not drinking pop. I know Nest he's kind of considered pop, whatever. But I've never, ever, ever, only one time when I was in a theater with my dad before the pandemic, when I was a child, and I was coughing. <laughs> I was just like, he's coughing a lot. <laughs> and my dad had a drink, because like, I didn't want anything, but he had a drink, but he had a, like a Diet Coke or whatever. And then that was the only time I've had Coke. But like, yeah, never, ever, ever. But no caffeine. Oh. I'm just me, buddy. I just wake up on me. Because like, that was the other wow. thing, too, with coffee. I was just like, I know it's not. It's 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 a weird thing to kind of think about. But I was just like, I don't want to get addicted to it and be dependent on it to wake yeah. up. So like, that was the other thing. But I'm picky. So, you know, I probably won't. Okay, like that's fair. Yeah. Uh, but from that story one thing i did want to ask you was how do you feel about coughing in public nowadays <laughs> <laughs> i feel like so i don't go out often i go out on the yes. weekends to get groceries um sometimes we'll go to like lowe's or mm -hmm. canada uh, canadian tire to get some essential stuff i don't know mm -hmm. um but i have this thing where if i eat sugar or i or i eat right before i go out mm -hmm. you know what right before i eat or right after I eat, there's a, um, there's a lot of like buildup of phlegm and mm -hmm. every, it's like the best way to clear it is obviously the cough. Yeah. So whenever I'm in public, um, and I have that, or I like choke on my own spit and it's like so painful, mm -hmm. I'm trying my hardest to hold in a cough because yeah. I'm like, first of all, I'm Chinese, so it doesn't really help. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and I'm just worried that people are going to look at me weird. Like, Oh, this guy's coughing. Just keep his distance. But I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, not choke here. <laughs> yeah. No, I, so, I know what you mean. Like I have, I have that same, not in the same way. Cause obviously you shouldn't have to fear that. Like for like, yeah. I, like what you were hinting to and everything there too. But like, I have that same fear. Cause it's just like, I don't want people to think I got it. And I was just like, I'm like, I'm like, if I have to cough, I'm just like, mm. <laughs> And even for like my job, when I'm talking to people on the phone, I just, I mute myself if I have to or anything, but it's just like, it's mm -hmm. okay. Like we're okay to cough. And even like me, I have hay fever and I get allergies. So like anytime I'm like, oh, I got to sneeze. 
like even like just like like back to like walking my dog even like because I, I i i'm the person that wears their mask still when they're walking because i know like outside they say you right. don't have to do it as much but i just i'm just like as soon as i step outside i got it on and um like i like because i think my mind has changed on that as well too like the whole mask thing like i know like i'm a person that was just like because at first kind of the way they were treating it it was just like oh this is gonna go away fast i'm like i don't have to worry it's not gonna affect me so i didn't have a mask at first and i was just walking outside uh, with no mask and then when it right. started to become mandatory and i actually bought one then i started wearing it and then now i just always wear it outside but even then like sometimes i'll get sniffly i'm just like i gotta sneeze but i don't want to <laughs> sneeze <laughs> I'm like, if you got to sneeze, you got to sneeze. Like, you can't just hold it in. It's bad to hold yeah. it in. Because don't yeah, you die or something? Or something crazy? I don't know if it's to that extent. Um, I think you could pop a blood... Uh, I'm, like, I'm not... I, I don't know. But like, you could pop a, a blood vessel or something if you hold yeah, it in. Yeah, I think in high school, one of the... I think Miss one of our teachers uh, was saying, um, if you want to sneeze... You and you hold it in, you can pop a blood vessel. But yeah. if you sneeze, you can also pop a blood vessel. So pick your poison. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. Just sneeze. <laughs> Just sneeze. But you know how loud my sneezes are too. So it's yeah. not like I can hide it. Because like mine is like, and then I sneeze. So it's just like I can't hide it. I can't do anything. So it's just like all that attention's on me. I don't yeah, like that Whenever I'm like out to get food. Uh, yeah. And I have to cough. My initial reaction is to get out of the, get out of there, get into like the open air. Yeah. Um, but obviously I'm not going to drag my girlfriend out with me. Yeah. Uh, so I don't do it because I also know that if I go leave the establishment, I'm going to have to wait again in line to get back in. So uh, I'm kind of in a predicament. Do I stay and cough or do I leave and cough in the, but in like a more open space? Open area. Yeah. Open space. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, I know some people don't care because I've been in places where people cough. Yeah. Um, and to me, I don't care. They they probably have the same issue that I'm going through. Yeah. But when I have to cough, I'm thinking, oh man, P eyes are on me. They are. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. But like that, that's with anything in general too. It's just like people are probably not thinking about you that much. But like for me, I like exactly what you're saying too. It's just like I'm like somebody's thinking about what i'm doing like have you ever like tripped like outside like if you were walking you're tripping like did anybody see that i'm like nobody saw that right but like why does it matter people trip it's okay yeah. like even in this too like they're going through their own thing they're in their own head about this whole thing too and it's just like they probably wouldn't mind unless you're coughing on them and i know we wouldn't cough on anybody like that so yeah. it's just like yeah it's it's crazy but like oh that was another thing like when you mentioned like the shopping stuff um that was one of the things that changed for me too. Cause I used to, so like when we were in the harder lockdown, so before like December of, of last year, we, I, I would like do like the shopping. So I think even before then too, but like I would go to like Walmart to do like grocery shopping and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then like when we had the lines, I would wait on the line, you had your mask on, blah, 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 blah. But then I was just like, I'm lazy. So <laughs> I started using because, um, oh no, it was as soon as Uber announced that they bought the same, like the company, I think they bought Postmates or whatever. They bought whoever. So, like, okay. po Postmates in the US, they do like the delivery stuff. So, they don't only do like food from restaurants, they could do grocery stuff. So, as soon as they said that, I'm like, oh, they're going to do that stuff here too. And as soon as they did that, I was just like, I'm going to pay somebody to bring my groceries. So yes, it's an extra like $12, but like that's one of the things that's changed for me during this whole pandemic thing too. It's just like, and I think it's going to stay that way because it's just like... But they've, they've always had that in Canada. The, there was Instacart. They? Yeah, Instacart. Oh, no, I know yes. yes, you're right. Instacart, which is what I'm using now. But go ahead. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, yeah, because I know a few years ago uh, at my old company, mm -hmm. we, we were throwing a party... I think it was like a summer party and they forgot to buy some groceries or some yeah. like limes or whatnot. Yeah. Um, so they ordered from Instacart and because I'm in accounting, I had, I did all the expenses and everything. So I yeah. know they were around, they've been around for a while. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big believer in deliveries uh, because it's expensive. First of all. Well, uh, it, it is. And, that was, and I yeah. like to choose my ingredients. So I like to see like, okay, is this cut of steak good? Are these cut of, or good you know 
I like to pick out the cuts, the vegetables. I don't, I don't really want to trust, rely on someone else to do it. And that's kind of why. Yeah. It's also one of the only ways to get out of the house, like an excuse, like, oh, I have to go get groceries. So every week, well, we try to limit it to um, two weeks. Oh, okay. um, but every week we'll go out and get like some smaller stuff if we run out. Yeah. Um, but it's a good excuse to get out. I know we shouldn't be going out, but for at least for something essential as groceries, it's at least there's a good reason for it. So, well, yeah. no, you got to eat. No, that like I understand because like two things with that because like for me, because I'm not cooking, so I'm just like, right, I'm just buying basically snacks because like I, I, I understand that oh. sentiment. So, like, I'm not buying anything that like i guess like uh fruit and stuff that would have to be touched and then put into a bag right like collect so it's something that's already in like a box or something like that like i know the person's probably safe or anything but you still have your like your worries and stuff too so i'm not buying anything like that um but like so that's why i think i'm okay with it but it is it is dumb expensive and that brings me to the other reason why i knew instacart was a thing I, i i forgot but i knew it was a thing because i was gonna do it maybe even years prior, but oh, okay. I went through the steps. I think the reason was they didn't have Walmart on there yet. So the right. only place that they had, like in, I guess for like Ajax, they were still getting stores added to it. So the only place they had, had everything that was more expensive than where I would, what I would usually get at Walmart. So it's just like, I'm not going to use it. So I kind of like, eh. And then when the pandemic started and then uber announced that stuff that's what was like oh i'm gonna use the uber eats one but then they started being like dumb expensive so now i'm using instacart because somebody was uh-huh. i think like even at like um when i was helping with a customer on the uh at work they're like oh somehow we got to instacart and <laughs> they're explaining me how it worked and i was like that sounds better so i was just like i'm gonna use that one even like because it's still like kind of expensive too but like you're paying right you're not doing it's- it like somebody's doing it for you right doesn't Walmart have like a pickup thing though? Because they they do have a they do have a pickup thing. But Ricky, I'm lazy, bro. No, they um, drive there. They load it in your car for you. I know they snacks. loaded it. Like if a- you're just buying snacks, it's one box. It's not even like you're ordering a full. I, I of know, groceries. but but here hear this hear this. I don't have to because like with that whole pickup thing, you have to get like a time slot. And right. my luck with that stuff, because it's like, it's, I think it's uh, like either early in the morning or at certain times. So you have to like pick a time for that and everything as well, too. So I'm like, yeah, I could probably do that. But like, or I could have this person come to my home. But I'm saying that and it's like, that's one of the things that I miss the most, probably. Well, not the most. One of the things that is up there with me missing stuff is driving. Because right. driving is where I would like listen to music like new albums and everything as well too. So now I still get to do it when I'm walking Latifah because I have my like earphones in when I'm walking her. But like just being in the car, being able to sing in the car even too. Yeah. It's just like- You, I can, sing, you can sing in public. I, I, do know, I, can, I, I know I could sing in public. I think I, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I think my fear on that too as I get older is going away. Yeah. Um, Cause yeah. like I used to be like, even like when we first went karaoke, I remember being nervous to sing with you guys, even though it's, we're all friends. I was yeah. nervous to sing, but now I feel like even like if we went like after this pandemic, which I want to, cause I really miss karaoke. Yeah. But if we go, I think I'd just be like, I wouldn't mind to hog the mic. If nobody wants to sing, I'll sing everything. Like, I don't, I don't mind that anymore. Yeah. I think That's- karaoke after a while you realize if you're going karaoke with someone, it's generally with friends. Yeah. Um, and I don't think anyone there is trying to, audition for american idol or anything right. we're just there to <laughs> let our fun. voices out you know yeah so exactly. it's like i don't it. care if I, i'm off, off pitch i don't care if i sound weird i don't care if i'm going too high into the falsettos <laughs> i'm just singing i don't want to get it out <laughs> <laughs> no that's that's my thing i'm only off pitch that's how i sing i'm only <laughs> off pitch so i'm never on pitch i'm like i think in my head i sound like the person who's singing and i'm harmonizing with them and everything but in real life <laughs> It's terrible. And that's the other thing too, because like with this this mic that I got for the podcast, like before you came in, I was singing. <laughs> I was singing into the mic. <laughs> I was like singing. I mean, like, it's that's a great way does. to it's a great way to test the mic out, right? So Right, it is. It's just like see if the levels are working, right? You gotta, yeah. <laughs> you gotta sing sometimes. You gotta sing a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things that I'm looking forward to when the pandemic yeah. ends, but I don't know, working from home is uh 
opened up a lot of doors and showed me like what I'm really uh, prioritizing and what I really like. So right. something I like about working from home is just, I guess, the scheduling. Like I don't have to wake up two hours in advance, get ready, take uh, take the train downtown to work. Yeah. Um, you know, I could wake up. I wake up generally like five minutes before or 30 minutes before, you know, the schedule starts. Um, Wait, but I know you wake up five minutes before you start work. Well, I don't have a set start time, right? Uh, so I, okay. but I wake up at eight twenty-five, and I basically start work at eight thirty, eight thirty-five. So it's like ten minutes. Oh, okay. Um, but I know some of my friends who start at like the standard nine, they'll wake up at eight fifty-five, turn on the computer, and then log in, do other login and stuff, set up, and then they'll go make a copy. Um, and that's it. That that's their job. They're 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 set up in five minutes. And I know that's that's been one of the biggest things for a lot of people is just the time saved um, from commuting because it's mm-hmm. usually what an hour each way. Mm-hmm. So you save two hours. I also save a lot of money, <laughs> which is oh, yeah. a great thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think just getting that time back to really invest in me. Like we have so much time now that we're we're planning podcasts. Uh, between the two of us and right. i know it's been something that you wanted to do i never mm-hmm. told anyone that i really wanted to do it yeah um but yeah here we are yeah <laughs> so no yeah way. it's it's also giving us time to really work on our creative side because we're both i know well at least me i've been basically doing accounting for my whole life um, yeah and i know you did a little bit of media studies in university which is <laughs> creative compared yes. to what i was doing so <laughs> Uh, that's why I didn't want to speak for you too, in terms of just basically using, I think it's a left brain, right? Where it's, it's all logical. Le- I, I I know one is one and one is the other. I don't remember <laughs> which is which. <laughs> but yeah, in terms of that, it's like, I've been using one side of my brain the entire time of my life. Right. So yeah, it's, it's been good. Um, what about yeah. you? What, what's something you like about working from home? What's something you dislike? I like, so like, like you're saying, Cause like, even though like, I understand the commute part for me, my job isn't too far. So like I'm in Ajax, my job's in Pickering. So it was literally like, if there's no traffic and it's like literally 10 minutes to get there, 10, 15. So it wasn't too bad. So even then, like it was short with getting to listen to music and stuff. Like I still love it, but also like you can't beat like exactly what you were saying, not having to wake up so early. I still do it though, for some reason, like I start at 12 and I wake up at like, I'm moving around like after showering and everything at like eight or something and I'm still like up early, but I think it's because of Latifah. So I want to like take her out and make sure she's good as well too. Like I don't always walk her. Like sometimes I'm lazy, like the weekends I'll always walk her, but in the week I find them lazy with that, like walking her for whatever reason. But yeah, the commute stuff, I, I, I still think overall it's better. Cause then there's no me yelling at people in traffic. <laughs> like it's like when I had like, the shift I have right now, I think I would only be kind of, there'd be traffic going to work because it's starting at 12. So like, yeah. you still have people around lunches. Maybe I'll avoid it a bit, but like if I had a nine to five or 10 to six, that's mostly traffic like both ways. So then it's yeah. just like being in rush hour. I hated that whenever I had an earlier shift. Um, but yeah, the commute stuff, just being here with Lativa, she actually is not on the same, like with your dog. I maybe I'll start doing that with her. I just feel like she's gonna touch stuff though. <laughs> she'll, she'll move around and touch uh, stuff and bother me. So I leave her upstairs and then I'm here downstairs. But yeah, being able to to be here with her is nicer, like throughout the day and just being home. But it's also the now that work is home, that's kind of the tougher thing that I guess I'm still like struggling with. So like I know like on the weekends I kind of move my desk back a bit and over to the side so like i'm away from it um and then like this area like i'm just like trying to not to think about the work stuff not trying to take it like take it home with me even though it's home with me right now so like that's the that's the other thing too oh yeah that's a big downside i'm currently sitting in the spot where i would be in where i work yep my (laughs) so my monitor because i play like i said i'm a pc gamer yeah so my monitor is basically the monitor i use to game yeah, but it's also the monitor that I set up work for. So, um, even I'm back when I was living with my parents, it was the same. The monitor I had three monitors back there. Mm-hmm. Um, so Wait, three, 
Yeah, so my laptop monitor. Don't I swear you have three? I've seen your I setup. Two, no, no, my setup's just two. They sent it to they sent it to us though. So oh, like my, so you don't have a laptop or is it just a is it desktop computer? No, just the two, just the two, um, the two monitors and this little like um, like a little box, right? I was box assuming? thingy, whatever. Yeah. To get into so work stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, so, I had two monitors. Yeah. I still have two monitors. It's just at in this uh unit, I don't have enough space to set up all three monitors. Right. Um. So I had the laptop monitor, my main monitor, and then like a side monitor. Um, but here I only have the one monitor to share between my gaming and my work. So <laughs> it, being able to pull away from work is tough. Um, yeah. And then with with my job, it's you can work can carry over into the after hours. And I think it's common with my managers and some of my coworkers. They always say um, it's hard to find the time to stop working because you, you you're right. so mentally in it and you're you're thinking i could stop any time and it would only take me a minute to get to the kitchen less than a minute one second yeah. um but it's kind of putting like a dead stop you know okay at five that's it no more work um because then you need you still need time for yourself you need time to kind of recuperate from work mm -hmm. um so i i mean i've had times where i stayed late which is good because uh, you know i had to work and once i'm done i don't really have to deal with a commute right uh but yeah it's kind of exhausting i think it's what you're trying to say is similar to what i've heard with uh your bed never read in your bed um because that's where you sleep so if you're reading in your bed you're gonna fall asleep um and it's not a great place right. to study right uh, so yeah, yeah it, it's yeah that's it's hard, it's hard to stay to disassociate when you're always in the same place no, that's oh. true. It because it, it you'd think it helps work life balance, but it could blur the line of work life balance exactly. Oh, like see that? Saying. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I, I, for me, I'm lucky where mine doesn't carry over. It can, but like mine, like it, it but it'd be more like a carry over to the next day or or whatever something in advance. But like, because I'm I'm customer service, right? So like, right. I don't have to. And like, when my time's up. I'm Audi. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead so. So that's the one thing I, I'm like, well, because you can't beat the one thing about like the, even though I miss driving is you can't beat being like, hey, I'm done. And I'm already here. Like I'm yeah. already home and I'm good to go. Like, because I think that helps me. Like I'm watching a lot more YouTube and stuff than I would have if I was still commuting. Because then there's that time commuting, you don't, Unless I, oh, yeah. I guess I could queue up podcast then, but I, I never do. But yeah, actually, I found that I've been watching more YouTube, uh, Twitch, mm -hmm. uh, and I've kind of stopped basically using Spotify. I don't really listen to podcasts as much anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, so back when I had like the three monitors, what I would do is throw up uh, a video of like a 30, 40 minute video mm -hmm. and just have it up there just for the background noise, yeah, uh, while I work. But I think it's been a year and it feels almost like I'm kind of running out of things to watch. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, so I, I'm not a big TV watcher or right. movie watcher either. Um, but I am trying, I do just rewatch the office essentially. That's like my number one show. I rewatched community during this year. Um, except season four, I usually just stop at season three because season four. Oh, you like you? Oh, you just stop. I you finished just... it. I I finished it the first time, but yeah. I kind of just don't like after season three because it's it's just a decline, and I like it's yeah. also there's a lot of uh heartfelt stuff happening after that, and it's like yeah. Donald Glover leaving, the show ending, yeah, um, and it kind of loses its track afterwards. So. I like to just basically it's the same with the office. I'll watch up till um Michael leaves and then that's about it. That's I'll I'm I wouldn't even finish season seven at that point. I just watch up to where he leaves and then I might restart it. The show's done. <laughs> yeah. Funny with when Michael left for me, like I remember because I was watching that season, like the seasons I haven't repeated are like six to nine. But like right. for one to five, I've seen those episodes quite a few times. But like when Michael left, like when you were watching it live, like when they were on week to week, I thought that that was the season finale. 
And they're like, oh no, there was another op- episode this uh, this time and it was with Will Ferrell. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, are we done this season? Michael's gone. Why are we still going? I was like, what? <laughs> He's gone. The, and funny enough too, Community was another show that I rewatched as well too. I did go through the whole thing though. Cause like I've only seen every episode once. So I did go, but like, I know what you mean with season four. Cause that's the, what they reference as the gas leak season. Cause yeah. Dan Harmon's not there. And it's, it's not as it's, I, I, I think I found it funnier than I remembered though. Like there were still okay. some points that were funny, but I didn't like, um, cause I know they have like Troy and Abed fighting and I don't like that. And then, uh, uh, Troy leaves in season five, like pretty early in season five. I forgot how yeah. early he leaves. And then, um, yeah, it's still, it's still weird because you still love the people that are on there, but it loses the charm when the whole dynamic's gone. But uh, obviously, I understand why Pierce had to go because he was he was not fun of, of behind the scenes apparently. Yeah, it's it's a good show to constantly go yeah. back to, but uh, yeah, I can't I can't rewatch some of the seasons, but yeah. with. Back to the office is funny enough. The one scene that really cracked me up, and I'm always like, I constantly remember, is in season nine, I think. Oh, okay. when um when Jim frames Dwight for murder. Oh, and, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that though. I remember that. <laughs> that was like the funniest scene I had, I think, I'd ever seen in the entire show, and it made me laugh so hard. Like, because I've heard of all the other jokes from you yeah. and our other friends because yeah. i i didn't watch it when it came out live um but i would hear about all the jokes from you guys and at the time i didn't care i yeah. still don't care um so when i saw that fresh i was i laughed so hard and it was also such a good um it was it was such a surprising act because like all the other intros and everything were just so dull and just yeah. they weren't funny at all so when that yeah. happened i was I mean, from like after Michael left. Oh, I mean, after, 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 after Michael. Leaves. It just oh, okay, didn't okay. feel the same. But then at, yeah. when that happened, it was like holy. Yeah, that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. So that was a. Yeah, yeah. Cause that one is where Jim's like talking to the camera, but then he hears Dwight come in, right? And then he starts. He goes into his position, and then he falls out, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. Cause like I've been I've been thinking about doing. Cause I have been rewatching shows a bit. Like, I, I don't always do the rewatch stuff. Like, you know, me and my Smallville. I've watched that yeah. a few times. And um, uh, the other shows that I've watched. So, like, Community was the ones I wanted to go back to. So, during this pandemic, that's one I went back to. I went back to Smart Guy. And Smart Guy is really? so funny. Smart Guy is so funny. I forgot how much I love that show. Like, that one was such a great watch. Like, that show's so funny. And then um, another, what I'm rewatching right now is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And that show's just... Uh, Next level funny. And yeah, I've always show- heard such good things about yeah. that, but I can't. I I think we talked about this. The four by three really made it hard yes. for me to watch. So I, I I'll try to get through it, just like yeah. I'm trying to get through Red Dead. And then I I've seen some clips, and it's like it's funny, but it's just you got to get through that first part, and then you'll be good. Yeah, you got to get <laughs> there. The the good thing with Sunny though is their seasons are shorter than everybody else's. Okay. So like it's it is five seasons, but it's not like a long like with other shows that have like 22 episodes or how many or 24 or whatever it's a quicker watch to get to where they're actually full screen but i i hated right. that i forgot about that and i hated it too just like with the snyder cut and it was four by three but that's a whole different thing <laughs> but um another show too that i really watched because like just speaking of other things that we're like watching during this time like a show i wanted to watch for years was a uh, curb your enthusiasm and I never watched it because, like, I remember, like, when my dad, my dad watched it, like, when it was on TV, um, like, years back because that show had a weird release schedule. So, like, it was on for, like, two seasons and then off for a few years and then so on and so forth. But it, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm is just, that's probably the funniest show I've ever watched in my life. Uh-huh. And I want to rewatch it again. Like, I'm going to do it again, like, eventually. But, like, that one's also 4.3, but it's 4.3 for, like, six seasons. But oh. they're only like ten episodes a season. But like that show's just so it's so good. It's it's definitely yeah. Like, it's just, that and Sunny are like up there with the funniest shows I've ever watched. Yeah, there's a lot of shows I need to catch up on or even just watch. Actually, I saw Legend of Korra on Netflix. I think last yes. week, and I need to watch that because I've watched Avatar I think twice. Um, oh, and you've when never Legend seen of, Legend of Korra at all? I've seen a few episodes, but. Because I hated watching TV, I don't know. I just could not do the live schedules and, you know, yeah. like, I like 
today's you know environment because i can watch it when i want to watch it i don't have to wait yeah and if i miss it then i can always just rewind subtitles are a great thing too so i understand things a little bit easier and like i can actually pick up on things um so i have to watch that i saw that and i know it's good mm -hmm. i think i don't know i have well, to I, watch that before we continue with cora i'm going to start a debate between us because are you a, a subtitles person when you watch anything like you always turn subtitles on for shows yeah i'm not i i i obviously if it's something in a different language then yes obviously because i don't speak the language so i have to have subtitles but like for me if it's where but i'm weird like with video games i have to have them on so like for cutscene stuff because i feel like video games i like in cutscenes sometimes that'll be when i look to my phone but right. like if i have the subtitles up then i'll read and stuff but like um but for shows, I don't like it because I I'll I'll find myself reading and then I'll get ahead of where when they're speaking and then they'll kind of like spoil stuff sometimes. So I don't like. But I know that I feel like that's a whole debate where people are like like. Do you feel you have to have the subtitles, like with yeah. shows and everything? Oh, because shoot. I feel like for me, it's I if I miss something, yeah, because I couldn't hear them or I did I just misunderstood mis misheard them rather, yeah. Um, then I get pretty mad because, uh, like, with with um, the, like more suspenseful movies or uh, mystery movies, yeah. I like to have the subtitles because I like to solve the mystery. Mm -hmm. I don't really care if it's because it, really you you're only only gonna get like a few seconds ahead with the subtitles. Um, yeah, yeah. And I've also watched a lot of anime, so to me, subtitles are really normal, so I can. I can read it and look up and kind of still see what's happening. I think it's right. like, it's just something I'm really used to now. Um, but yeah, I have to have subtitles. If I don't have subtitles, I can still watch it. I just might not enjoy it as much because Seriously? it feels like so I'm... You're, you're saying yeah, it's taking out the enjoyability. No, no, no. I think it's just, I feel like I'm missing a lot of information. And then I mm. I don't want to rewatch, let's say, a movie because it's two hours long. I don't want to rewatch it again. So I'd rather just try to digest all the information the first time. Yeah. If it was a good enough movie, I will rewatch it. But if it's something that's just like, oh, okay, whatever, um, at least I can get a good understanding of what's happening yeah. while I'm reading the subtitles. Because I know sometimes they just speak really quick. And you're just like, what did he just say? Um, or maybe the sound's so loud and you're just yeah. like, I can't hear you. What, what are you saying? You know? For me, like, because I, I get that. Because, like, for me, sometimes, like, if it's where I, I get distracted and I'm not paying attention, then I'll rewind just to hear what was said. But, like, sometimes, uh... too, I'm just like, I'll wait. I'll be like, they're going to tell me in a context clue. Like, something in the, like, I'll, I'll figure it out. Because sometimes I find with a lot of the shows, too, like, the writing's kind of predictable. So I'm like, right. okay, I could kind of figure out what they were saying. So it's like, unless it was something that was really, really, really vital or I misheard, then I'll rewind. But like, for me, I just find it distracting. Like I'll gravitate to the, but I guess I know I can watch it too. Cause like for like Narcos, for example, cause like there's parts where they're just speaking in Spanish and then they'll switch to English. So they won't have subtitles on the English, but they'll have it for the Spanish. Right. So then like, I could still like watch and, and figure out what's going on and everything too. But it's just like, I find for me, like if I don't need them, if like it's not in a different language, I won't put them on, but video games, I have to have them on. I'm weird. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> See, I don't like rewinding. I don't like rewinding. So I don't like it either, but I'll do it sometimes. Okay. Yeah. I don't like, I don't like, I can't be like, cause then that's just elongating what you're watching. Right. So it's just like, I can't keep rewinding and rewinding unless it was something that's like sick in an action scene, then maybe right. I'll do that. But like, I, sometimes I'll even wait till the episode's done and then I'll just go back to rewatch the whole fight scene if it's something like that. Okay. But even with like rewatchability stuff too, I like for like all the Marvel movies, like I love those movies, but I'm not going to sit through the whole thing again. I just get, if I'm going to rewatch something, I just go to the fight scenes because that's all I want to see or like a funny moment that I know that's there. Comedies are easier for me to like rewatch like that movie wise, but like, um, action stuff i'm just going back to the action sequence but to cora <laughs> the long right. tangent for cora um cora is good the first season's good second season i didn't like um third season's the best one and it's really 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 good and then the fourth season's good but they were i think they mentioned that um 
like budget wise they were having issues so there was like one episode where they did like a flashback which was random to do so like okay like if the episodes if the season was 10 seasons it's really that it had like nine that last season or something like that okay but it's it's a good watch i i liked it i know some people feel like you'll never beat the because the original is so good and i remember i think i I rewatched that a few years back and i want to rewatch it again and then go into cora but but apparently they're doing a bunch of stuff too like they um like yeah i thought um well okay to that legend of Korra wasn't trying to redo the original so it was because it's a continuation it's of a the continuation. story it's a continuation but I, I swear there's more coming out isn't there i i thought i saw some posts about that so there's like a billion things apparently coming from like the original creators so like the they're doing a show with netflix and it's supposed to be live action so that's supposed to be a redo oh so it's supposed yeah to be live action but i think they had issues I think the original creators had issues with Netflix, so they broke off of that, but I think it's still going. And then now, um, because like Paramount, I think it's Paramount Plus or whatever, that's the new streaming service. I think it just launched not too long ago. So they own Nickelodeon. So then they were like, well, Avatar, we're going to just throw out shows and and movies and stuff for Avatar. I'm just like, I'm I'm about it, because if you have the original people, then let's go. But how much don't run it into the ground? uh... They're trying to do what Disney's doing, just uh, releasing as much as possible for That's Avatar, yeah. but yeah, Marvel side, okay. Well, you have a whole world with that one, though. You could do it. You could do it. You could tell all different stories and stuff, like because um, Korra is like, I want to say like thirty years or forty or something years between like Avatar and Korra, so you could even do stories right in between, like. Ang as a young adult or whatever or anything like that or you like, can do even the past with uh, the other, the past, other yeah. avatars yeah other avatars and stuff like that yeah like, it would be, be interesting cool. but like yeah like that whole world is is really interesting to me and it's just like and i i still love that um the guy who plays Z- uh, zuko is dante basco his name's dante too it's dope it's so dope, it's so dope. he's, he's a cool that, guy eh? huh <laughs> Just because of that, eh? Just no, no, not just because of that. I love his character, but like, <laughs> of course, his name's Dante, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> well, another thing, like besides like shows and stuff, like what about exercising? How's that going during this time? Um, so before the pandemic started, I actually bought rock climbing shoes and chalk, and I was gonna go get a membership with my friend at a bouldering place. Okay. Um, but obviously that didn't happen because they all had to shut down. Yeah. So I was hopeful that I would be able to do it sometime in the year. Never got the chance. <laughs> so, mm. so I mean, I was working out using like a home app, like a, a workout app, I guess, where they would just do, you would pick the body part you want to work out. And then it would just give you the exercises you can do. Um, so it give you, let's say do 10 V ups or something Yeah. and you have to do the 10 V ups. And when you're done, you hit next and it'll give you a little rest and then you move on. That didn't last long. That lasted like probably a month. And then <laughs> in the summer I got into jump roping Ooh. Um, because, uh, my rhythm lives as I wanted to get some rhythm. <laughs> I wanted to get some rhythm. So I just got a jump rope <laughs> because yeah, because I realized boxers use it to get a rhythm with their feet. So their foot works right, really right, good. Right. Yeah. So I was like, uh, same idea, you know? Uh, so I got a jump rope, got into that, uh, but I didn't do it too consistently. I stopped when it got really cold. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, it's just too much to go Too much to do, do it. when it's cold, yeah. Yeah, and so I bought like a... I, we have a fitness credit from work. So I got like these weighted jump ropes. Um, so Ooh. I have these this cheap speed rope i guess and Mm -hmm. from amazon and then i got this weighted one so i'll just switch between them uh but i have you know the weather's warming up now yeah so so i started jumping rope a little bit but yeah not really consistent for me uh and but one thing i did notice is i i see a lot of people weightlifting on instagram tiktok and it makes me want to go weightlift but i can't yeah so so. well well oh yeah because like for you in vaughn like you guys are still locked down more than like me and Ajax, right? Like us in Durham. Like, are you gray I, zone or red zone? 
the zone thing is so weird. The, yeah, I don't really know. I know they're pretty know. lenient now because I think Von Mills is back open. And I okay. you can get a... Oh, and I had a gym membership, which was supposed to expire, I think, September of 2020. With like, Good Life or... Good Life, yeah. Good Life, yeah. So I think I still have a Good mem- good Life membership because, you know, they de- they deferred the memberships, right? So... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Honestly, close. I wasn't planning on going back, but after watching all these videos, <laughs> I kind of want to. But I don't know how the scheduling works, and I know you've been um, recently. Well, so this whole time, so like when it started, I, I I remember like literally when this whole shutdown stuff was happening. I was in the gym pretty close, like to when everything shut down. Yeah, so like right before. They started to say, hey, you got to kind of separate. So they started to like before like the lockdown lockdown happened and the gym was going to get shut down. They started to put like tape and stuff on certain machines. So there was separation. They're like, hey, you got to be six feet from people, blah, 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 blah. So no mask stuff yet. And then it was where everything shut down. And then the gym was closed. And then like back in because like I like right before the pandemic started, I was because I, I was only going two days a week, though. Like I would only go on the weekends. Right. But I was in a groove where, and I think I was like coming off a of vacation too. So like, I was like, I'm getting back in, like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting like more to where I want to be instead of like feeling like I'm plateauing and stuff. Yeah. And then the pandemic hit. <laughs> and then oh. I was just like, ah, and then I was just like, cause like for me, I can't, I can't bring myself and I don't know why, but I think it was also cause like uh, for people listening, I, I did Taekwondo. So like I, I, I did Taekwondo like growing up. And I'm a third retired, <laughs> third degree black belt. And even with Taekwondo, I never practiced at home. Like, because we were supposed to. I don't think I've said that out loud. I never, and I, I remember because I was teaching too. And I would tell kids, you got to practice at home. But I never, ever, it was very rare. Like, I, because I just like, we used to do like padding and stuff. I just remembered this stuff and I never practiced. Like, I never, I, and I think maybe that's what it is back to me being lazy. Cause like really at heart, I'm, I'm lazy, 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 but I like working out. It's weird. It's like, I, I like working out, but I'm, I find myself like, I would consider myself a lazy person. Like I'm fine being on the couch all day, but like, so it was closed until like July and then they started opening back up. So they started doing like the appointment things, but it was like 40 people. So like I could book like the day of and still get in. And then it started to get where the 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 restraints on like the booking started to getting oh so like I'm with good life too but the restraints on the booking got a little bit harder so it went down to like 10 people and then that was like impossible oh no so first it went to like um open gym because we were getting better and yeah. it went to open gym so like you didn't have to book anymore so certain times they still did it at peak hours so then I just want to go the peak hours. I would just go join open gym and just work out. Cause then I wasn't restricted to an hour. Cause that's the other harder thing too. Like yeah. I'm a person that will get bored at the gym, but like if I have my set routine, so like I do push and pull and I know I should do legs, but I'm like, I did take one though for 17 years. I don't need to do it. <laughs> so I'll do legs rarely and it's bad. I, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it eventually, but I do push and pull. So a chest try and shoulders on push. And then um, biceps, back, and I guess traps on pull. So like I'll do right. like those two different days. Um, so it's like especially when I was going to two days, that's what I would do. I'd switch off of those two things. But like, yeah, I just I it was impossible to get in there when there's ten people, and that's where we're at right now too. Like after it opened back up, it's just where there can only be ten people, and they changed the booking rules to be like, oh, now you got to do it three days in advance. It used to be like you could do it a week ahead. And that was good for me, but like now it's three days ahead and only like on Monday at 2.30, if there's a slot at Thursday at 2.30, you could only open up at 2.30 on Monday to book Thursday at 2.30. So like that's harder now too. Cause like if I'm working, I can't book cause I'll go midday and I can't yeah. book those appointments anymore, but I, I think I'm going to get fat again. That was the other thing that happened to me. I got fat and I didn't like it. Like I got a gut and I still have uh. a gut and I lost all my abs and I'm pissed. And I'm just like, I, think I want those a, back. That's a, that's a typical thing that happened to everyone, though. Because I just yeah. stopped caring, to be honest. Because That's true. Yeah. What am I going to do? I can't. I'm very limited in terms of what I can do. Um, and if I wanted to work out. And I, so I moved to a new condo. And it's just now I have much less space than I used to have in my parents' house. So mm-hmm. I can't really do anything. I did 
at the beginning, I did get a pull-up bar because my sister and I had a competition Ooh. about who can do the most pull-ups uh, at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, so I started off doing like half. And at one point, I was able to do like five in a row. Right. Um, but for some reason, my ring finger kept hurting. And I looked it up and it was um, it was the bar, apparently, because the bar isn't uh, strong or... I don't know what it was. It, it was cushioned, but it was like causing so much strain on my finger that I completely stopped. Were you getting uh, calluses or no? No, no. It wasn't the, it wasn't like down here. It was literally this middle oh, section that here. Was it was, the bone was hurting. Um, oh, the bone was hurting? Yeah. So I think it was like, it was like how it was being rested on the bar. Oh, okay. And I know people said, if you use the ones at the gym, like the metal ones with the grip, yeah. You won't have that problem. But right, when you right. use the ones that you buy and you hang on the door, that's when it, it creates a problem. Because uh, it, apparently it's common. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, after that, I just to stop working out really. Just, I, I mean, I check my weight every so often and I've maintained. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay, hey, I'll change my diet a little bit. Um, and when we open up, maybe I'll go work out. Maybe I'll go exercise. But oh, yeah diet is the one thing that i still that's the hardest thing for me because like the working out part for me is the the part i love but the diet part like i don't want to give up junk food i think yeah once you start cooking that's I mean, probably you, when I'll... you don't necessarily have to give up junk food you just have to eat in less uh less quantity smaller quantities yeah because once you start cooking i think one of the best things my mom got was the air fryer the air fryer is the best thing ever oh i keep saying i want to get an air fryer and i never get one i'm like i'm looking it up i'm just like i'll do it maybe i'll learn cooking so i can buy the air fryer and it sounds lit if you're uh -huh. only cooking for yourself too you don't even need a big one it's like 50 60 bucks for this for one person oh okay Cause, yeah because they're they don't they get more expensive as you get a bigger, like bigger one, ones right? that could yeah do more. so yeah. You, you don't need a huge one and it shouldn't cost you a leg and an arm right so yeah, the air fryer is the best because you literally pop things in, don't think about it. And when it beeps, you check. If it doesn't look cooked to you, just do it again. Yeah. And then you can just come back and do it. Because you could even just take, like, go to the wash, pretend you're going to the washroom while you're at work, just run the air fryer, and you shouldn't run into any issues about burning the house down. But Well, yeah, because it's just... Yeah. It's just well, a, well, explain it to me like I'm a four-year-old. Is it just air heating up? Or is I it the it's, so the way I understand it, it's kind of like a an oven, but not without the gas. Yeah, without gas. I don't know. You just press the button. <laughs> boop, 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 fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes shouldn't burn anything down. Yeah, because like as you were saying, like as you were saying, that, I was like, I don't know how that thing works. I just know people are saying it's lit and it works and it cooks the food. I'm just like, what is it? Yeah, is it we like... make chicken wings with it. We're gonna make chicken wings later with it because oh wow. It, it, first of all, it makes the skin nice and crispy. Yeah. Um, and my girlfriend and I like it more um, dry wings. So we oh, do okay. a, another sauce coat or not a sauce, a spice coating after we cook it. Yeah. Uh, so that's, it tastes, it's really good. Keeps everything juicy. If I had to rec recommend one thing, um, it's the air fryer. It's going to be like the best thing to help with your diet too. Cause then you're more conscious about what you're eating because whatever yeah. you put in there is gonna you're not gonna put fucking junk fruit in there well yeah uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> like yeah but yeah it's the chips especially now because we're we're basically uh just uh what's it called when you're eating out of eating. boredom oh you mean like just eating just to eat right yeah like just eating to fill we're just snacking, I guess. Like, but yeah, there's, I know there's another way of saying it. I just don't remember. Um, I, I, I don't. I, I think I know what you mean, but I don't. I, I don't know the word. Like, I have no idea what the word is. But definitely, like, I know sometimes too. Like, but I guess it's it, it's. I have my laptop when I'm watching a show while I eat, like food and stuff, like dinner and stuff. Like, I'm always watching something when I'll eat, but I don't think I'm grabbing more food because i'm watching something i know there's like a correlation between that like if you're watching shows and yeah. eating stuff like you feel you need to have the need to eat but i don't think i do that like i think i'm on the weekends i'm better about like having a breakfast lunch and dinner even though it may still all be like crap i'm not like eating properly and like i really got to work on that but 
the weekdays it's more likely going to be like a breakfast and then like a dinner after work but and snacks in between but yeah yeah i think it's with me i know my diet's not perfect mm -hmm. uh, but once i started to learn to cook and i've i've been cooking for a few years so because my mom cooks a lot so i wanted to learn how to how she makes some of the stuff yeah um uh, and i also wanted to start preparing dinners for my parents uh, because they're always working so late so i thought i could do it but my point is once you start to learn how to cook you realize good food can take our healthy food can also taste good yes and yeah. it's really dependent on how you make your food make it, right yeah. i like it really with like a lot of spices and stuff but at, mm -hmm. i can at least say that my food is you know fresh it's it's right. not bad it's not processed or anything mm -hmm. um but yeah, so I like to cook a lot and that's kind of how I'm keeping my diet down. Yeah. Like, I'm really I, bad at snacking. I, I am bad in the sense that I finish eating and the first place I go is the snack cabinet to see <laughs> what, what else I can eat. Um, well, look, that's true. Like, I think I'm okay where I don't feel the need for like a dessert. I know we have like those and I shouldn't be doing it cause I'm lactose intolerant, but they're so, they're so good. The ice cream sandwiches. You know those ice cream sandwiches, like with the chocolate? And we have those in the freezer right now. But, like, I think the good thing about me being lactose intolerant is, like, I can't do more than one of those in a day. Otherwise, my stomach's going to be, like, even with the pills, or like, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Yeah. Like, why, <laughs> why, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this? You're self-sabotage. Like, why would you do that? So I know I could only do one. But I know, like, sometimes I'll go, like, oh, after dinner, I'll have an ice cream sandwich, you know? But, like... That's the thing, because, like, for me, I'm still living at home, right? So, like, I, I, I live with my dad. So, I I know, like, because obviously, at a point, I'm going to want to move out. But, like, that would yeah. have to be, like, a money thing. Because, like, even right now, like, even though I'm, like, making money, I'm not rich or anything or anything like that. Like, I don't have, because that's the other thing about me is, like, I know I want to live, like, by myself, even though Latifah will be with me. But um, I want to like live like I, I don't want to sounds bad, but I don't want a roommate. I right. just want, you know, my own. Space. You want your own space. Yeah. It's you know? good like my have. own like Dante's bachelor pad, you know, <laughs> like something like that, like my own space. It doesn't like I was even thinking too, like. Just with like having a dog and stuff. Well, how does that go with you? Right. Like because in the condo, how are they about like, is it that it's a dog friendly one? And then that's why it's OK. Um, or and is yeah, that you more? can have dogs. Uh, I know, that? I know some condos don't allow it, but I yeah. think most do. Most you just do. have to register your dog. I think you just have to. When I say register, it's just writing down like the breed, the name, right? But it like, just make sure that your dog is associated to a specific unit or your unit at that point, right? Um, and then, and then like this is a weird dog owner question but like for like them using the washroom is it that you have them go like do you take them like downstairs to do it or you have to go all the way downstairs right or yeah something like that? uh i mean i'm sure there's some sort of invention where you can put like a maybe fake grass or uh, some sort of potty training mm -hmm. station outside on the balcony yeah uh, but from what i've seen because my dog doesn't live with me uh she's still with my parents just so that oh, okay. my parents have something to take care of well now that right both, well yeah, yeah my sister and i both moved out so they're still you know working their brains they're not just working for right. themselves i think it's yeah. a just so that they're not staying out late to work because now they know oh, i have to be home because i have to feed the dog so um, you were mentioning though like because they were home with the pandemic stuff but are they back to work now or are they still yeah i think so they're in renovations so a lot of it was dependent on their clients um, if they were right. comfortable with having people coming over and doing stuff. Right, 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 right. Um, but yeah, they're back now. I think they're helping out their friend who just bought a place, mm -hmm. um, which I think is, which I have more confidence in, like, you know, the safety and everything, because it's not a stranger, first of all. So uh, I can kind of feel, I feel like they're a little bit, be, they're being a little bit more cautious or, yeah, it's a little bit more safe because they know who their client is right uh but yeah so i like from what i've seen and all the people with the dogs in this condo they all just take them outside they do their business outside and then they bring them up and 
it's it's tough I, i'll tell you that i i had a, another friend who moved to a condo and had mm-hmm. a dog and it's it's tough like you, you don't want them peeing on the balcony um right because that's so a, you bring them outside issue. Yeah, yeah. yeah um and it's also very hard to clean because if you brush it off it's going to go onto someone else's balcony that's that's not <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah that's, that is bad <laughs> Yeah, because like um, for my dog Latifa, uh, I there was a there was a time earlier when she was. There's probably some, something we talk about in a future episode, where um, she got sick. But this time she was sick with something else, and this it wasn't as bad. But she started having like because she's good. Like she won't have accidents in the home. I just have to like go and take her out outside and everything. Yeah. Um, but she started to have it because of the the, the thing that was going on with her. So I actually bought a fake grass thing, thinking that I could um, trick her into it. <laughs> that it was like the biggest. I got it off of Amazon. It was like thirty bucks, and it was just like it's not like huge or anything. It's 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 not too big, but like I I don't even use it. Like I should probably give it to somebody because like I don't even use it. She doesn't use it. She just smelled it once, and it was just like eh, and still had Can't accidents you in the home. Put it outside, in the backyard, because I one of the biggest com- complaints my parents have is. Um, when they go do their thing, they do it all over the grass. Like there's no set Yeah, spot. there's no designated zone. Yeah. yeah. So then it's like doing the cleanup afterwards. It's like, where is it? Um, so they're like, why don't we just get fake grass and train her to go onto the grass? Like that's her yeah. spot. No one else's. And then uh, that never happened because I just don't have the time. And I was like, well, I don't really care. It's on the grass. I'll just pick it up. It's fine. Yeah. Well, because I think that's that's... I think that was the reason it just didn't work with her because like she's in her she's in her way she's she's gonna be 11 in April so it's like yeah I don't oh. think that's a new thing I could train her to do now um but like I think with uh Coca right Coca yeah Coca yeah Coca. um she she's how old now he's two or he no, what did I say she bit. he I'm saying she because of oh no I was she. right sorry yeah so um two I still like maybe that's still I don't even know if that's you can still train her because uh, I know two. my sister's I think so, yeah. been training. My sister's been training our old dog at, and he was like four, five, four. When uh, yeah. yeah, so and that's Nico, right? Yeah, Nico. But um, yeah, with her, I don't think so. But I think like with yours, maybe you could still do that if you wanted to. But that's the like you were saying, that's a time thing. Like that's the other thing too. Like if maybe down the road I wanted to get Latifa a friend, right? <laughs> like another dog. I don't have the like that's hard even like being working with home you can't be too far from them because like when we got latifa um we, was that high school yeah it must, yeah, have, it must have been yeah yeah because yeah, be. 2010 yes high school yeah so we got her like during summer break so like all the training stuff could be done because i was with her 24 7 basically so yeah. like uh that's a full-time job thing kind of really too training them and everything yeah yeah it's tough yeah. i don't remember how That's we crazy. raised coca i know we were at i was at work and my parents were at work mm-hmm. i don't know at a certain point she just got it and then we just stopped worrying and then yeah, yeah. and then so we crate trained her so whenever we went home she was in the crate right um, right right yeah and then i think after a certain point we, I was just confident that she could stay um, outside of the crate for eight hours and not have an accident. And she she did have an accident a few times here and there, but uh, after a while, she just, I guess it just clicked. She just held it in until we got home, we let her on, and she did her thing. Yeah, I think they just, there's a point where, because like for Latifa too, because she was crate trained, but we, we were doing the crate stuff for a while. So like she would sleep in the crate overnight so, um, and then whenever we weren't home, she would be in the crate. And then like, as the years went on, I think it wasn't like too long. So maybe like at like two or something, then like when we weren't home, she'd be out still. And then now it's where like, I've stopped doing the, the crate thing at all. Like I don't even use the crate anymore. So she's just out and about there's, right. there's, we confine her to space though, like the living room space. So like, we have like a child gate 
so right. she doesn't go into the kitchen and stuff because like the living room is right by the the kitchen and everything but uh, and then also because because like if she has access to go into the kitchen like as soon as she sees the crates down like if it's down or not the crate the blo- uh, the child gates down for whatever reason zoom right into the kitchen because she's like <laughs> ah, i could go somewhere where i wasn't allowed to be anymore <laughs> so she'll go or she'll try to go upstairs and then like Whatever too, like like if she would ever escape to go upstairs, she would go from my room and then pee on my bed for some reason. And I think there's oh, a thing, yeah. Ab- yeah. There's a thing about the dogs where they know they're because I guess I'm. I don't want to say her master, but I think that's the term they use. But I'm the one she bonded with the most, right. so she knows my scent the best. I guess and she's like, I'm gonna go for his room and then pee on it. I'm like, why? Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's happened to me too twice. Yeah. And she pooped on my bed one time too. I was like, oh, "What the hell?" I'm, I'm happy to even never pooped. It was just been pee. The few times she's like, done like, it. Like, thankfully, it was like solid poop, like not the mushy yeah. poop. Yes, yeah. But it was also in all times were in the morning, so I had just woken up. I was getting ready for work. This was also yeah. pre-pandemic. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh my god!" I trusted her. I said, "I trust you. I'm gonna get ready. I'll let you in my room. You know, you can keep me company." And yeah. then she went and did that, and I didn't no longer trusted it. Then I made the mistake, and I trusted her again, two more times. And then she kept doing it, and I was like, you know what? I'm never trusting you again. <laughs> but this this was also when she was like really young, like yeah, like four months old. So I oh no, actually no, she's probably like seven months old. But I ah, that was a mistake. <laughs> one thing, one thing with Latifah though, because like she's she's like I they're like. They're like, cause I know they say that the dogs, they're like smart to a point, but I feel like she's just like, like some, somehow infused with cat or something. Cause she's sneaky and she'll do stuff. Like she'll know she's not supposed to do something and hold her head down. But I think they all do that too. Yeah, and she'll they know she's that. not supposed to do certain things. But like the one thing I have to watch with her, like, especially like if I'm eating or anything, she'll go for scraps. Like she likes to grab stuff. She's like, really like she uses her nose a lot for stuff and tries to scavenge and it's like as soon as she sees something but i guess that's what's with her being kind of greedy too but like as soon as she sees something she sees scraps so like for me i know like i'm not gonna let her i i i i, I don't, don't remember the last time i've let her in her room my room like because like she sleeps downstairs like in her own bed thing yeah. and like but it's also because she sheds too so that's kind of harder to like have in your room and everything though like where she's yeah. shedding everywhere but yeah 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 I so <laughs> i mean we can talk about our dog in another podcast yeah. let us know if you guys want to hear more about our dogs. more about our dogs <laughs> <laughs> uh but back to the pandemic i think we're already hitting about the one hour mark yes but i think uh, let's end it off with this so how long did you think we would be in a pandemic and how long do you think we'll still be in a pandemic oh, so, so or a long. lockdown rather yeah i honestly because I was going off of what we were hearing, because that was a thing that changed. And I think that's one of the things that we have to remind, or I at least I try to remind myself is that it's not a static thing. It's a dynamic thing. So it's something that's constantly moving and the knowledge we're getting about it. So I thought at first it was going to be like two months. And then they were like, oh no, maybe it'll be six months. Like they were first like, it'll be gone by the summer. For me now, like, I don't think we're out of the lockdown thing, even with the vaccine stuff, because like we're, apparently Canada is not getting it or whatever. Um, like my, my granddad actually, like one of my grandfathers actually just got his first dose. So I'm happy about okay. that. Yeah. But um, I think 2022, early 2022 is when we'll kind of be back to normal, whatever that is. But what about you? Yeah, no, uh, we had a contest with at work. Yeah. Um, so the contest was obviously uh, whoever can guess the closest uh, return to the office date. Um, yeah. we'll get a free $25 lunch, right? Yeah. So I guessed May 2020. <laughs> uh, and apparently the latest guess that we had was August 2020. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. We were way off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm with you on that. Like, I don't think 2021 is going to be the year that we return at least. Um, yeah. I think early 2022 is uh, reasonable, but... I mean, I was wrong once, so <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, like I, I think so too. Just the last thing I'll say about that too is that I think we'll notice too that people that work in offices, I think people will give the option, like the head people will give the option more to be like, hey, everybody work from home. 
because then there's no overhead with paying for an office or anything like that. I yeah. think we'll find people stay home more too, but who knows? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's a good spot to end there, right? That's a good spot to end. Yeah. So why don't you guys let us know how you guys are dealing with the pandemic, um, how you guys are currently feeling, um, and when you guys think we're going to be back to back to normal, let's say. Yes, back <laughs> to normal, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> And again, I'm Ricky. I'm Dante. And you are listening to the TP, TBN podcast. Hey. Thank you for listening. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.